During the summer break, Raju and his parents visited their village. Today, Raju's grandmother, mother, father, uncle, auntie and Lata were sipping tea, sitting in the courtyard of their village house. Lata is Raju's uncle and auntie's daughter. When it was time to prepare the breakfast, Raju's mother and auntie proceeded towards the kitchen. Lata also followed them. They were going to make hot paranthas for breakfast today. Raju and Lata served breakfast to everyone and then sat down to eat. When everyone had finished, Raju's mother and auntie set their plates and sat down to eat as well. Praising their cooking, Raju's father said, The parathas were delicious. Now you all have breakfast. I will go to the market and fetch some groceries. Raju, will you come with me? Yes, uncle. And the two of them set out on a morning stroll. Children, do you also help in household chores like Lata and Raju? Who cooks food in your house? Who gets stuff from the market? Who finishes other chores? Think about all this. Raju's village is situated near a river. When Raju and his uncle reached the river bank, they saw some people catching fish. Nearby, they collected stones and sticks, lit fire in them and were cooking and eating the fish they caught. Upon seeing this, Raju asked, Uncle, why don't we eat fish? Our family is vegetarian, Raju. Which means, we only consume food items derived from plants. What are people who eat fish called? Those who eat fish and meat are called non-vegetarians. This means that we get food from two sources, plants and animals, lentils, rice, vegetables and wheat. We get all of these from plant source, meat and fish, we get these from animal source. Right Raju. We get a few other things from animal source like milk, curd, butter, etc. which are also an integral part of our diet. Come on, let's buy some vegetables now. You know Raju, we consume different parts of a plant. Spinach, Coriander, mint, these are all leaves. Tomatoes, brinjals and lemons, these are all fruits. Cauliflower is a flower. Babuji, kachnar buds are also cooked into a tasty curry. In our home, we also cook the banana flour. Uncle, are carrot and radish also fruits? Why do they often have a layer of mud on them? Radish. Carrot, turnip, these are not fruits, they are roots because they come from under the earth. They often have a layer of mud on them. We also consume the stem and seeds of plants. Wheat comes from seeds. Hmm, plants come to our use in so many ways. Yes Raju, now let's quickly buy vegetables and head home. Ah. Uh. What happened, Raju? I have a toothache, Nani. Oh, ho, come here. Child, get him some clove from the kitchen. Raju, till we don't go to a doctor, chew on this piece of clove. Clove? Yes, Raju. Many items in the kitchen work as medicine. Turmeric milk in cough and cold clove in toothache. We have been using these since childhood. A clove is a flower. Your grandmother is right. Plants have medicinal properties. Mint helps clean the stomach. Gooseberry is great for the skin. Muleti is good for the throat. And Shikakai is still used in villages as a shampoo. Awesome! I will go share this with Ma now. Had fun with your uncle? What were you about to tell me? 
I enjoyed a lot today, Ma. I learned about the two sources of food, plants and animals. Those who eat meat and fish are called non-vegetarians, and those who don't are called vegetarians. All parts of a plant, like leaves, flowers, fruits, roots, and seeds, are eaten. Plants also have medicinal properties. Well done, Raju. Now tell me, what will you have for lunch? Spinach on the sides or kachnar today? Yes, Uncle. Fine. Let's go and cook it together then. <laughs>